Dear friends, welcome to the Wednesday Word on Wednesday the 8th of March. On my quiet day on Monday, I read a sentence which got me thinking. We encounter grace not first in redemption, but in creation. It is through grace that the Christian is born again, but it is also through grace that the universe is born in the first place. In other words, the universe did not have to exist. It's a gift which flows from a loving God. As Paul said to the Athenians, he himself gives us, gives everyone life, breath and everything else. We are the recipients of the amazing gift of God's creation. The one thing that we should never do with a gift is to think that we've bought it or made it ourselves. The giver is to be thanked for the gift. So our fundamental attitude to the creation should be one of gratitude, praise and thanksgiving. If God is the giver of the universe, then he knows best how we should live in it and flourish in it. The alternative to the universe being a gift is that it's a cosmic accident, which we just happen to inhabit, and we have to do our best to work out how to live in it. This leads to a market society in which everything has to be negotiated, bought and sold. It's a world in which everything is a contract, a deal struck for personal benefit, whether that be with our families, our partners, our business associates, or the resources of the natural world in which we live. It's a society of you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, in which we all compete for finite resources and in which the strong are more likely to come out on top than the weak. The universe as a gift cuts across this in a radical way. No longer is life a negotiation, it's a sharing of what does not belong to any of us. It has the potential to create a world in which the poor, the weak and the aged are not cast aside because they have nothing to put on the business table of life. Instead, they are cared for and honoured. It lays the foundation for a genuinely compassionate society, and it gives us a powerful resource to care for the world in which, which God has so generally, generously given us to inhabit. It is in the church that we should encounter not only the grace of redemption, but also the grace of creation. We Christians have more reason than anyone to live in a counter-cultural way, joyfully sharing our resources with each other and with those outside our community who are just as much recipients of the grace of creation as we are. When Christians do this, it makes a huge impact on the communities in which we live. And it extends not just to our human community, but to the community of the natural world, which is just as much a gift of grace as we are. This Sunday at the 10 o'clock service, we're focusing on the gift of creation as Dave Bookless, one of our mission partners who works with the Rosha, the Christian Environmental Organisation, is preaching in our Exodus series. Dave will be focusing on Exodus 23 and the laws about justice, care for the land, animals and the Sabbath. All of these laws flow from a gracious God who has given us his creation as a gift and shows us how to receive his gift and how to give thanks to him for it. God bless you today.